If you've messed around with these old Hondas for long enough, you'll know that whenever you do anything with the rear suspension and have to remove the rear lower control arm, that those bolts can rust and get seized inside the bushing. And that's what happened to me. And the quickest lower control arms that I could get were some cheap ones off of Amazon. I didn't have time to go to the junkyard and I didn't want to spend a lot of money at the time. But with the cheap ones, often comes cheap bushings. It's been, I don't know, a year or so, maybe less than a year, and my car squeaks a lot. So now, I'm going to jack the car up and check them out. I have some bushings ready, and if they fit, I might toss them in, but that's going to depend on the condition of the bushings that are already in it. So, let's get to it. So I'm going to take off these cheap bushings. And as I'm looking at it, I see that this one is already cracked, but I'll give you a better view of it once I get it off. Here we are on the workbench, and as you can see, of all the bushings, two of the three on this side have already cracked, and these are intact. But I'm glad I'm doing this. It's time to replace them. Let's see if we can get them out. So I'm going to use a hammer and an old extension to hopefully knock these out. Let's see. All right, that worked. Well, the bushing came out with that one. I don't want that to happen again, so I am going to put a, a socket beneath it. And I'm gonna hit this one with a little bit of WD-40. Just to show you, I have the socket lined up to receive the inner part of the lower control arm. All right, that's out. Now let me get the one out of this one. Oh, it's just gonna come out. Nice. So I have all of these out, and it's okay that that stayed on the, I call it a dowel, because it needs to be on there anyway. So now I just need to take out the bushings and without the, the metal part in there they should pop out so these are all the old bushings and I can see why they were making noise see these two completely shot so these are the old ones and all the new ones look like this. I don't know if it's because of age, but these feel a little more stiff. These are supposed to be polyurethane, so now I'm going to grease them up and try and install them. I made sure that the housing was free of debris, and then I applied grease to the housing and any surface of the bushing that would be in contact with metal. I use the same grease that Energy Suspension sends with their polyurethane bushings. All right, I was able to slide that on. No hammers needed. I don't know, that's a lot of grease. I definitely don't want it to squeak. All right, one greasy 
lower control arm ready to install. So I'm going to take off my gloves and wipe off all this excess grease. I wasn't able to push all the bushings on by hand, so for those I tried a different method. Rather than trying to bang it in, I got an old lower control arm bolt, a couple of washers, and a nut. Now I'm just going to use two ratchets to tighten it on. I hope that works. Had to upgrade to a, a deeper socket. Yeah, I was keeping, keep an eye on this here. All right, I think we got a chicken dinner. So I will do that with the others as well. All right, let's get this thing back, back on the car. I didn't tighten them down all the way. I just tightened them down part of the way. I'll torque them fully once there is weight on the car. Right, the car is all the way back on the ground and now I'm gonna torque down the lower control arm bolts. All right the manual I have says tighten these to 40 foot-pounds so that's what I'm gonna do. All right, I'm gonna play the same game on the other side, and then I'm gonna go for a ride. With that done, I'm already thinking about the next thing I'm gonna do with this car. I noticed some dark marks on the muffler, so I investigated, and I noticed that there were some holes on both sides of the muffler. There is a weep hole on the front side, that's supposed to be there, but there are rust holes at the seams on the front and the rear of the muffler. It's not a safety issue and the car doesn't sound loud, but I don't think the other components are supposed to be blasted with the heat and soot from exhaust. So I may be looking into a new exhaust, but that'll be next time. So if you wanna follow along and see all the things I do on my EJ1 Civic, hit subscribe. Thanks for watching, take care.